Crap, Warner Brothers revoked our Animaniacs license. Now we can't make our epic party game starring them. Well, what do we do, boss? Call the next best people. Namco! Genius. Allow us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we should just say that right now. For those who've never seen this game, we're just gonna, right now, we're just gonna start off by showing you the opening, opening cutscene. Try to tell us this wasn't going to be an Animaniacs party game. Oh, wow. It's time for pac a maniacs Right down to the music! We are zany to the packs. But instead, they wanted to have their own Smash Brothers kind of collab. With freaking Heihachi! Heihachi? Is that Heihachi? Yep. Yes! Not only that. Bridge Racer? Wait. Bridge Racer? Another Tekken player who has only been seen in like once or twice. Uh, Boogie? And this dude who steals souls! From Soul Calibur. What the fuck? Wait, is that Soul Calibur? Yeah, that's Astaroth. Okay. But, for no reason whatsoever, they got told that the trophy is taken by the ghosties. Stolen by pirate ghosts. After him! And I still think this is dumb. It should have been other Namco villains, but then again, Astaroth. But I mean, and hi, you could always look at ghosts and say, oh yeah, that's Pac-Man. <gasps> Private screening. Goddamn ghosts. Thing. Buy all mini games, get a free VIP ticket. And unfortunately, Pac Man just has to. <laughs> Look at that fit. face Heiachi's making right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now it's up to us to compete in a Mario Party game. And suddenly it's like 75% less Animaniacs. Yeah, I, lo I love how the ghosts not only took the prize, but we have to play by their rules to get back when we could just call the authorities. Why can't we just go into the theater? We could sneak into the movie. But Logan, they're dead. They're beyond the rules of the place. And Icky, I don't know. In they're Hyper beyond Hyper. the rules of mortality. But yeah, welcome to... Welcome to We Needed to Make a Game Fast. Welcome to a game that does not have anything to do with the song it was named after. Oh god, you're right. Going on. Uh, I mean, okay, and oh, and yeah, we should also say, this is a new... This We're also using Parsec because James and I are both playing. Oh my goodness. It's like you're in the same room at the same time. Yes. In a sense, except not really, but that's what Parsec does. Okay, it's one classic. person snuff. <laughs> it's one play <laughs> it's one person playing with two controllers at the same time. That would be funny. Because of Tevil Day, of course you would use that name. Yes. Let's see. Who will you be? I'll be Heihachi because I like Tekken. Why are the faces pre rendered for a GameCube game? Oh, but, uh, actually on. I don't know. I wanted yeah. to have Astroth involved in at least one video. <laughs> So actually, I think he got involved in all three of them, so there's that. So, so um, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pac-Man Fever. Pretty much um, a Mario Party knockoff in every sense of the word, with starring all your favorite Namco classics. None of which, none of which beyond Pac-Man came from the '80s. Yep. And as we see here, you can choose all different kinds of lengths of boards. Only pick short, because God, does this game last forever if you don't? Oh God, are we playing Dude, by ahead. Mario Party Nine rules? This is a pretty race. much yeah. Just it's Mario Party Nine before Mario Party Nine was a thing, though. I I mean, granted to the game's credit, there's no car involved. A mini game happens at the start of. You mean at the end of every turn, right? No, it's no, start, the start, start of every start of every turn. This time. Basically, see how. Basically, it's kind of like, it's kind of like um, we party, and that how you do in the mini game dictates who rolls first, right? Huh. Uh, I believe I it. Think. I think so. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was something we're like yeah, with Mario Party. Technically, yeah, it was always like a turn order, but no, for this game, it's all it's always based on like what per, what place you get in the mini game. Yeah. My God, that loading see. time was obnoxious. Yeah, it takes a while. But like for a so GameCube yeah. game too. So we're gonna say right now. Uh, I'm sorry, I ca I can't keep this up. I suck. <laughs> I thought I we all suck. Horribly suck at this game. Just well, to be just... fair, this is to be fair. It's almost as if this is your first time playing it. Yeah, it was. And you're going to watch what happens when I suck so for anybody who is putting money on me right now just get your wallet out you're it'll take your time yeah. for those of you that were putting your money on Logan, it's not worth the just, price of admission i was basically just imagine it being like any other multiplayer game that we have on the channel you know how the outcome's gonna be i'm sorry what yeah. the fuck's going on here <laughs> oh we're playing mini golf by the way and the idea golf? is that yeah the idea is that if you can time your putt to get all the way to the end of the course the further it gets in the course without being destroyed, the more points you get. So it's all about timing. It's like Wacky World of Golf. Okay, so I recognize Pac-Man. I recognize Heiachi and Astroth. 
I do not recognize Ridge Racer being that character. Uh, is that Ray or Mako? Oh, uh, Rako. Uh, yeah, Rako's her name. Rako? Okay. Yeah. Wait yeah. a minute. Is she the former Namco mascot before Pac-Man? I know. I thought Namco was no, always Pac-Man. I, I don't think it, I don't think she's been around that long. I think she got her start with like Ridge Racer Four. Revenge like Square. Right? But you won the mini game. Yeah, but now I'm going to exact my non-existent revenge on the first person I pick, and I'm going to steal half of their tokens because I'm a big bastard like that. It's basically booze. Now it's, it's all Jace. Ghost. <laughs> and yeah, the ghosts are pricks because they take half of your tokens too. So the piranha Ooga plants booga. faces. Basically. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, as you can see, yes. Depending on how well you do in the game, that determines how far you move. Token square? Just get a bunch of free money. <laughs> Here, pocket change. Uh, don't mind us. Yeah. Aw, oh, Chase. Tokens. Make Tokens. way for the big square. man back home. And now, j just look at this right here. This is a character from a game that honestly takes itself fairly seriously. Who is currently trying to bounce a whole bunch of tokens while a monkey oh. in the back row is dropping anvils on him. What's with the monkey? Oh. Oh. You gotta be careful, because when the monkey hits you, you lose all your coins. Okay. Wait, uh, what? What was it? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that's why you have to keep bouncing so you don't okay. lose your coins. What the other thing I was going to say was... Um, so wait, it's a mini game where you can make a profit, but you can also lose... No, 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 no. I mean, like, you lose all potential coins or you could have more. earned if you oh. get hit by the anvil. Until so you just more. collect as many tokens as you can. Yep, here is just a target shooting game. Uh, James, do you think that they should have had Klonoa be in this as opposed to Astaroth? I'm not sure if I really want Klonoa to anywhere near this fucking game. Back <laughs> here! <laughs> okay. So we should get around to this. I mean, I'll, I'll okay. say real quick that if I were to pick characters for this particular party game, I definitely wouldn't have picked any of, like, anyone here that's beyond Pac-Man this Pac-Man. Like, honestly, just the Pac-Man family in general would have been perfectly fine. Or, heck, maybe even some older older stars that need a little more attention. Like, say, the like Mappy? Taizo Horde from Dig Dug or, um... Mappy? Mappy. Yeah, Mappy. And, um, for, um... I know there's a couple other Namco, Namco mascots I, that could probably have fit in here as well. Uh, Maybe have a Galaga should be run. Bravo, Bravo Man? Characters. Bravo Man. Bravo Man, that'd be interesting. Oh. Oh god, imagine, oh. Rick, imagine Rick Taylor in this game. <laughs> From Splatterhouse. Oh yeah. Okay, Rick Taylor. For a minute, I thought you said Rip Taylor. I guess we should talk about that. Oh yeah, I was thought you said Rip Taylor too. Uh, and I was just thinking of the genie from DuckTales. I was also <laughs> going to say... We should, we should probably get around to this. Oh yeah, Challenge is basically a dual mini game. We should get around to this. Who here has even owned or heard of this game before now? I've heard it once, but that's about it. I remember seeing the box art in passing, and I'm just like, what the fuck am I looking at? I recognize Pac-Man, but I recognize nothing Actually, else. Actually, I wanna, I wanna try to see if I'm thinking of the right game. Didn't this also get a port to one of the DSs? No, you're thinking of Pac-Man Party. Okay. Pac for the uh, 3DS, which. Honestly, that game in itself is kind of an anomaly because there's aspects I like about it, but others, like, I mean, I can understand where people come from where it's like, it's not that great of a party game. Yeah. Like, I feel wow. like it's, it's, it's more totally correct than this, I'll be fair, but still. <laughs> this minigame took, like, zero time at all. Not really, no. I mean, granted, I mean, hey, all the better to, better, better to get this game Look over with. <laughs> Look at that walk he does. He's like, whip, 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 whip. He, it, it, it takes a lot of strength to lift those large ass sandals. Help me! I'm an old man after all. No! There's five tokens. Booga, booga, oh. Where's my bear friend when I need him? Oh, oh dude. drop me off a cliff, why don't you? Actually, yeah, actually, would you think it would have been more content, like, totally appropriate if they had swapped out Hayachi for Kuma? I would love seeing Kuma walk around. That'd be great. I mean, Pac-Man versus a bear on a board game sounds more plausible than whatever the hell this is. I and, that, and that's oh jeez, I'm so sorry again. I'm suffering from a head cold as we record this. Shit. Well, hopefully by that's the fine. next part it'll be gone. So I've he's suffering from the plague. But I and I and that's why I've been trying to like talk and be nice and calm as we raise this flag, yo. But also, Wait, um, I think I have to put you. the puppies to bed. Okay, right. but whenever I get too excited or get if I start to talk too fast while in this current state of affairs, my voice cracks. But I was gonna say, and throughout this entire process, because yes, James and I played not one but all three boards. Hence, there are only quite... three boards in this entire fucking game. Only three. Only three, and the idea and the way this works, which kind of I'm gonna say right now, the early game can be a big drag because the way this works, Icky is. <clears throat> 
you only have a limited number of mini games and the and depending on how well you do in each actual like board game you can then get tokens that you can use to buy uh mini games and as james and i soon discovered even if you're playing co-op your tokens are not shared amongst each other your tickets are only to you and you alone so they're not even totaled at the end of the game nope so say if James earns, oh yeah, sorry, you use tickets to buy them. So say if James earns three tickets and I earn four tickets, and there's a seven ticket cost game, we're shit out of luck. None of us can get it because we can't we can't trade, we can't exchange, we can't combine our tickets. So I'm guessing tickets are the power stars of this game. Uh, kind yeah. of, yeah. Though you don't even get them till till literally the very end of the game. So they're the bonus stars. Uh, yeah, essentially they're like the bonus. <clears throat> they're that's exactly what they are. The fucking bonus stars. But um, ah, other than, otherwise, um, you primarily get redemption tickets. That's what they're technically called. Through um, they're either sev through several means. Like again, they work like kind of like the bonus to stars. Or um, at the very end of the board, you'll come across three raffle boards. Like they're these big boards that that instigate like raffle. raffle tickets. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you win them, that's how you get yeah how you get, the, you get the redemption ticket tickets. Oh, I get to move forward. But you yeah. risk losing tickets Don't in the count. process. Uh, kind of yeah. Oh, please, well, actually, bad, well, actually you don't lose tickets. No, you don't. You, you keep whatever you get. But um, okay. the only thing, you, the only kind of currency you'll ever lose are the, are the tokens themselves, which okay. can be used to buy stuff from this game's shop. And the only thing you can buy in this game are mini games, or is there more? Uh, as far as like what's what really matters most, it's really just the mini games you want to worry about. Like the stuff in the store right there, as Rayco demonstrated, is mostly just for the sake of like affecting other players, even yourself, if you want. So just store items dude, from dude. Mario Party. Exactly. That's exactly what they are. Don't. Oh my Milken game. Oh, he gets to play with the monkey again. Oh, and I guess I should. And he always gets the freaking monkey. And he always no, sucks. <laughs> I will say, this is definitely uh, interesting to see play at full 60 FPS, considering I was only kind of on like a parsec was a little bit. Anyway, hey, I was going to say. He's doing better this time. <clears throat> oh, just don't get hit with the anvil? He's good, okay. God, look at how low res that monkey is. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, okay, but back, to, back to the thing that I got all excited and cracked my goddamn voice about was is that I genuinely was telling James throughout this whole process that, like, they could have just so easily just made it, especially since it's only the ghost that we see as a real antagonizing threat. They could just have easily made, just made it all Pac-Man characters. Yeah, exactly. Like Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, the little boy, the Professor Pac, Pac, the pup, the baby, and the dog. Baby Pac. They could, they could have done what, all of this what stuff. About to try. What about Sourpuss? What about Hyde? God, I mean, look at these awkward guys. You know what? Think about it now. Think about it. Like... <laughs> Honestly, think about it now, you could have easily have also made the ghost playable characters. Like, I mean, granted, you all you have the ge the general variety that are just hazards, but imagine like if like say if Clyde got got inconvenienced by his own kind. I can I'm see sorry, that. I was kind of enamored by Pac-Man's climbing animation and how stiff it was. It kind of yeah. reminds me of like those um It kind of reminds me of like those carnival games where you have to shoot the water in like the clown's face. Oh yeah. Yeah. And like sometimes it has like that jittery movement whenever you um Whenever you actually get to it, yeah. Oh, you know, and also, this year of Pac-Man certainly had like this year of Pac-Man certainly. Well, you can sort of tell that like he's been going through some weird patches. I mean, look how big his mouth is compared to how he is now. Mm -hmm. Good grief! Oh, and also was going to say. Um, also was going to say. Uh, wasn't say. Was also going to say, uh, James, that uh, you say that with the uh, with having Clyde, that would absolutely explain how we got Sue out of nowhere. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. Do, 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 I gotta say, the music do, do, during this board is actually kind of depressing me. Challenge Square. What was that? The music during this uh, board is kind of depressing me. <laughs> it is. It does sound awfully generic, doesn't it? It sounds like it really doesn't belong in anything. I guess. It honestly, it honestly sounds like freaking. Um, it sounds like the kind of music you just hear out of some random um, carnival. Or whatever, just not even just a your carnival. Typical I'd generic say, music to get along with the theme. I say this is more like um, this feels like the music they would set to like those uh, bowling alley graphics. Honestly, uh, yeah, you know, for like kids like bowling. Oh, yeah, I, I know what those are. Oop. Yeah. Well, that just happened. Sorry, Logan. Yeah. Trump. Oh boy, now we he will ghost. take your now he will take your soul or whatever earnings you have left in your company. Okay, I wanna. 
I want to ask for the sake of casting sympathy on Logan, did you guys practice this at all before you recorded? No. So you're going oh, in totally you're blind? Well. I mean, I figure for a game like this, you really don't need that kind of practice, considering that, like, I mean, the mini games are very simple simple to a fault. And, well, just, it's, it's a Mario Party game. What more do you expect out of it? Oh, no. How scary. Yeah, seriously. This is a man that's that literally kills people and takes their souls. Then, and then yeah. he just gets ro he gets robbed he gets by, by a bamboozled by a cartoon ghost. This is a game that James knows how to beat if you know the right timing of it. Yeah. Unfortunately, as we're about to learn, even if the game... Hang on. Come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Look at those lovely, lovely mugs. Yeah. Oh no, they're trapped in the vending machine now. Help us. Whoop. Hey, shit. You can do it. No! Damn it, no! My streak is broken. Yeah, it's the kind of thing where once you get the rhythm of it, you can just you can just always get it one after the other. Like, duh. Duh. Yeah. Duh. This, oh. this minigame is borderline one to me one note. Yeah, it's like I honestly don't really know what's happening here. <laughs> you're just trying to get you're just trying to light up all the buttons so that you get all the fruit to pop out and you get more points. By the way, isn't that a little unsanitary to just stuff fruit into vending machines? Let alone let the uh, let the fruit drop onto like the Chuck E. Cheese bathroom floor. <laughs> now it's even more unsanitary. Hmm. Speaking of which, you hear did you hear about the poor fate of those animatronics? That they got rid of them. Yeah, their game retired. Eh, it was bound to happen. Yeah, I mean, kid, who likes the animatronics these days? Not me. Well, Unless it's like Muppets. Say... Well, I was about now, to see, say doesn't it... this look a little more tonally better? The fact that it's not just some random big guy from a game about sword fighting anime characters? Yeah. Not really. I mean, yeah, Pac-Man still kind of sticks the fuck out compared to that mon that low-res monkey. And the background. I mean, granted, Pac-Man in a movie setting isn't really the most we the weirdest thing in the world. It's just everyone else. Yeah. Excuse you, sir. Well, I would even argue that this is a movie set. This feels more like a theme mini golf course. Like an indoors one, that is to say. I, I mean, yeah, you're right there. It does kind of look something, something a little more like that. Like, look at these menus and, like, the UI, for instance. Does that scream Pac-Man or Namco at all? Oh. Why are well, we smashing fruit? I mean, Pac-Man is one of those franchises where I feel like you can get, a, get away with just about anything. But at the same time, though, I do think that there's, like, there's there's some cases that have done the IP much better justice than others. Like, this is literally just one of those, well, cases where they just handle the IP in such a boring way. Okay, first off, what or was maybe with that's that hip... boring, just generic as all get out. First off, what was with that hip shake that had she did earlier? I don't know. And second off, just James's joke about how, like, Pac-Man's an IP that can get away with anything. You say that, now watch them make some kind of, like, anime visual novel starring Pac-Man. Watch them make the ghostly adventures. You say that, I, I feel like someone's probably done, probably done that somewhere. Well, I mean, it's just, official. It's just somewhere stuffed in the back. Mm. I mean, granted, you never know. <laughs> That will be their 25th anniversary. Oh, not 25th anniversary. The 40th. Yeah, that will be their 40th anniversary. Good night, Mayors. That will be like a Pac-Man dating sim. I hope this involves mayors. So, yeah. Weird, the weirdest fucking thing ever. Like, a game like a game called Nightmares. What do you do? You basically use... You basically suck up the knights with your magnet and put them down the well. Like so. That's well, terrible. Well, that's a nightmare for them, if nothing else. It's a nightmare. Yeah. They're so tiny. They're, they're, they're a bunch of Sir Arthurs running about. They're babies. <gasps> what, what jackass would be put would be putting babies in metal suits? Uh, hey, whoever get, get, Timmy get down your, the well. Hey, get your, get that back! I still <laughs> took him first. We need Lassie from the medieval times. No. I was about to say, like, Come put on. him in suits, let alone throw him down wells. Ah. Actually, well, you guys what? ever gone to medieval times? I've been there <laughs> once, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I, like, I wanted to enjoy it, but I had like a really bad case of claustrophobia while I was there. Really? Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear. I remember, um, I remember going with my friends from like middle school and high school. This is back in like seven years ago, maybe. Um, like I got foam master sword. Oh. Nice. I couldn't afford the Hylian shield, though. Oh, no. Aww. Um, 
Like, their tomato bisque was to die for. Like, they give you, like, toasted garlic bread along with it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I remember what I remember the one we went to actually did serve mutton, you know. What's the guy gotta do to get some mutton around here? Yeah, they serve mutton as well. Oh god. He's, I think he's pretty much gonna win at that point. Well well Gee, I goes. wonder who's the winner of this <laughs> game. <clears throat> I love the way he scooted aside for her to pass by. He was like <laughs> I liked how there was no reaction animation from Reiko here. Like she go, she goes launched up and just falls. Oh in. yeah. There's no reaction to anyone being launched up into space. They're all just, just like, I guess this is life now. This is my fate. Resigned to it. Revenge Square. And yeah, Icky did just kind of bring it, like explain it right off the bat. Is that just the scenarios don't feel very Namco e again? I really do, really do. All here do think this was just a palette swap, and they just swapped the models out. Yeah, like, like I'm trying to think of ways you can Namcoify it. Like maybe one where it's like the ghosts are revealed to be working for Jin. Don't we just play this mini game like five yes. minutes ago? That's why I think James skipped it. Thank you, James. Yeah. Oh, no. So wait, is every mini game in this game just themed on the world? Uh, for the most part. Uh, one thing that this game does do is that while um, when you're in a board, you'll primarily do mini games from that particular board, but they also throw in a couple of um, mini games for well, just the typical movie studio setting, which uh, does which does apply to every board. To be fair. Oh, happening space. <gasps> so there's that. But... Oh, we've already seen these. Yeah. Mm, yes. Twenty tokens. Get twenty tokens. Too bad after the. Too bad after you get to the shop. There's literally no reason to get any more tokens ever again. Right. Because they're only really useful in the store. Well, I just. I mean, you can't buy. You can't buy. Oh come like, on. Tickets with that. Oh. No. Uh, okay, I'll go <laughs> back. I love so that. Like there I'll wasn't even. Back a few, I guess. There wasn't even like a real struggle. He was just kind of like, okay. <laughs> You're the boss. Surprise, Spear. <clears throat> Wait a minute, I thought- wait a minute, I'm the boss! What am I doing? Yeah, you got that big ol' hammer back there? What, it's an axe? Just- Yeah, yeah no, it's an Unleash it. <laughs> Do it, well, you won't. Now that I think about it, like... Considering the fact that, well, I'm not sure if this will be up by then, but, uh, considering the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man is coming up, like... What do you think they'll do with them? Wait a fucking. I well, would not I mind like... a new Pac-Man adventure. Or what would you like to see them do with the IP? Now that's reached, it's literally pushing forty years. I feel like one thing to expect is probably a bunch of Switch ports. It's just a matter of which games they're gonna port. I do still hold some hold some hope in my heart, even though it's for a four chan leak, which you know fifty fifty on that. Yeah. That apparent that like there's a uh, that that whole ultimate collection featuring a whole bucket load of Pac-Man's arcade titles, even the even some of the Pac-Man World games, does come to fruition. Yeah, I'm a little skeptical about that because that list also includes Pac-2: The New Adventures, and they almost never acknowledge that game's existence. Well, aside oh. from the fact that it was on the Wii U Virtual Console when that was still a thing. I'm well, looking at the I'll... text they used for the word OK during those uh, menu screens, like these, and I can't yeah. help but think, wait a fucking minute, this is the same exact font they used for Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Oh yeah, so maybe. Oh, James, <laughs> did you like, hear? Like, if we could pull up a screenshot, like, right here, yeah. and compare it to that. Anyway, Terrible Star, what were you saying, Logan? I just now learned that apparently a brand new Brawlhalla update has just been announced. Yeah, the Steven Universe update. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Oh, so they're actually adding St Steven Universe characters in it? Yeah, yep. all the, and they yep, look all really the fun to play as. All the Crystal Gems and Stevani. Oh, so basically... So, yeah, let me know, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you have a game with Rayman, Hellboy, Adventure Time, a couple of Ow. WWE people, and now Steven Devil Dam Universe. It's pretty ambitious. I mean, the future is coming out Dude. in a couple of days. At the time of That's this recording. True. It'll be just in time. But, I mean, you know, it does make me wonder how much further that whole game's gonna go before it finally kicks the bucket. I think it's oh. got some mileage left in it. Because there are some uh, strands that are left untied by the end of the original run. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now announcing exclusively to the Switch, Roland Dillon. <gasps> also, what I'm also what I just oh look at look at look at Astro holding that baseball bat. Yeah, like, what the <laughs> fuck is he doing? He's 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 anxious. I'm holding he's it as hard as I can with these heavy mitts. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Oh, I got it. Also, apparently, Pizza Steve 
from Uncle Grandpa was at one point considered to be so was almost considered if he would be Sonic's voice actor in the movie. Wait, Born what was his actor's name again? Adam Devine. Oh, that's who it is. Um, it's kind of interesting all the different like potential actors that would have gone on board to like with that. Like I know the most Tom famous Holland. one is that like well, there's that. I was about to say one of the more famous ones was that Paul Rudd was close to playing Tom. Like he, they even used his likeness on like a concept poster. Wow. Hmm. All right, let's go. see who's gonna win the orange raffle. Spoiler warning: is it's probably gonna be me again. It's probably gonna be me this time because actually, yeah, it's you. Yeah, so it's hey. see, as yeah. you see the way, see, see as you see the way it raffles is, it's on. It's just a rapid ticker, and it like it stays a little bit long. It it like <clears throat> think of it like it ticks up like three uh, counts per second. And of course, if you have more tickets, it's gonna stay on yours a little bit longer as it continues to you know scroll like a roulette wheel. That, well, it sounds really lame. Well, looks like you got ourselves a fruit duel. Looks like we have to, uh, just drop the fruit. We're wasting precious resources doing this, you know? You know, we could have fed, like, five, uh, dilapidated yeah. countries. You know, I get this fruit. image of, like, what you don't see is off-screen Pac-Man on the floor with his mouth open as the fruit rolls into his mouth. Enter Pac-Man. Yeah, he totally would fucking do that. Most especially his freaking ghostly adventures in Cardation. What an yeah. absolute yeah. fucking glutton. What's kind of I funny know, right? is that, like, I don't know if it's going to be as big a deal by the time this video is up. Apparently they switched users and now that show's going to be airing on, I think, The Hub. And what's funny is that, like, that show has had a history of, like, switching networks left and right. And every time it switched to a new network, they treat it like it's a brand new show. Like a Wait, literally uh, brand new show. Wait, you're, are you talking about Ghostly Adventures? Mm hmm I thought that show pretty much died already. <laughs> no, they're showing reruns. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, they're not making new episodes. They're just, like, re airing the reruns on different networks. And they treat it like it's a brand new show every time. It's kind of like how older shows used to air on Nicktoon, uh, like Nickelodeon, but then it was switched over to Nicktoons. And it was like, hey, check out this sweet, awesome new show from, from our own channel. Huh. Fool's Weird. hockey. Yeah, you have to be a fool to be playing hockey this way. You gotta be a fool about to play this easy. game. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's weird, because I do have a bit of a history with this game, just because, well, Ooh. around this time, I think it was pretty much at close to around the peak of my Pac-Man fever. Wait a minute, yeah. man. isn't this a ripoff of that one Crash Bash? Uh, I was about to say, this is basically the, the, the Bumper Ball Crash Bash minigame. Except yeah, now it's much. diagonal. But even less diag uh, dynamic. Yeah. And and with just and with equally as generic music playing. Speaking you know, of you all throw that, I guess any I... other like licensed character into this oh, what's game. What's up, Logan? Mesh up. I was a, I was gonna say. Speaking of that, if I may, if I may have a second of an opinion here. What's up? This game is dull. Well, of course. I mean, there's nothing and I was going gonna on. say. And I was gonna say, for the next video, because yes, we are still doing a couple more of these. Which, because I mean, because fortunately, we can say. Each board has its own unique minigame, so you'll rarely see the same minigame between these except for those bonus games with dang monkey. Wait, what was that about Pac-Man not being able to move until like rank what? Oh yeah, the uh, bigger the whole the whole raffle boards I just went through do have an additional gimmick to them. In order to progress through them, you need to be at a specific ranking when you when you finish a minigame. Like, say, for example, on that last board I was on, if I was in third or... I think it was either in second or second place or whatever, I could progress, but if I'm any lower than that, I'm stuck. So at this yeah. point, you can't even move unless you actually win the minigame. Right. Exactly. That's... Which, I mean, I get that. The, I mean, I get that. It's the idea. Is, it's almost like that, uh... You've heard that... You know how, like, if you play Sorry or something like that, like, Dude, after right. a while, you have to roll a certain number in order to really win? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, like, after a while, after a while, that's how, that's, I guess that's the problem, is that this game could potentially last a long time. Forever. Oh, it's No, not forever. Again. Eventually someone's going to win. But, um, the idea is that it's, it allows everybody to, it allows everybody a chance to catch up, but I guess at that point it defeats the purpose of if it's a race. Is it supposed to be a race, or are we supposed to accumulate the most stuff? It's supposed to be a race. Yeah, what? That, that's exactly what it is. Oh, We're literally racing. Yeah, it's it's a I spin. It's a spin. I didn't know the car. I didn't know yeah. the carousel. <laughs> I know it almost looked like the animations gave up too. It's like, hey, oh. are you serious? Oh, and of course, as you can imagine, points. 
And of course, as you can Actually, imagine, any tickets that you don't, any tickets that the CPU win are lost forever. Stupid. Can they take tickets away from you, though? Uh, no, no they can't. Whatever tickets you did get through the raffles are yours to keep. Yeah. It would be kind of bullshit, though, if you could steal freaking raffle tickets or redemption tickets at that. Like, most yeah. especially, because, again, in order to quote-unquote beat the game, you need to, um, to buy every single mini game from the redemption store, and... The redemption boy, store? Well, I assume that's what it's called. It, they're kind of like those those stores you get where you where you distribute your tickets to get those fabulous prizes. Yeah, that's the prize counter, not a redemption store. Okay, then prize counter. We'll go with that. It sounds like a Just... biblical take on Toy Story to me. <clears throat> also, I have a question, James. Hooray! I win! What's up, yes. Hey. So I noticed here, with the tickets and stuff, you only, at most, you have a chance of winning maybe four tickets from these raffles, I think. Uh, three, uh, three raffles. But, um, the rest... Though you do get additional uh, tickets for like, well, the following, like where you stand, where, where you stand in, in total for how many tokens you really get, and the raffles and all that, and it leads up to a total. Like, okay, so. okay, that's good. I was gonna say because otherwise I almost saw no reason in ever doing any other game besides a short one. But okay, that makes sense then. I am at and a complete go. loss of words for how low, po <laughs> like how low resolution that Pac-Man was. Let's go buy stuff. You saw Let's that though, buy right? Something. Yes, kinda. Yeah. Buy a, a cannon, buy a cannon. <laughs> buy a beach ball! No, I'm gonna play with my aliens. You know, I used to always go for, like, the paper planes. And here's Logan, who unfortunately has no, doesn't have much... Oh, okay, now oh. he had enough for that one. He bought the cannon. Oh, and as you notice, oh, yes. This is cannon, oh. Something else. oh, and as you notice, yes, between player one and player two, not even the mini games were shared, because I almost got a chance to also buy the alien thing as well. That's uh, stupid. It's... You know, but that's you know I, I get, but you understand where I'm at though. Maybe maybe they're treated more like save files. Maybe I should have just played as James Man versus James Man for this. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's not, it's, seriously though. That is still stupid. I mean, but you but you get what I'm saying. Matter, where... the fact that well, technically we'd have to se select our own files anyway. I mean, I tried telling you it's one player with two controllers. Basically, as you're noticing here, welcome to the rest of this video where rest of the series. Where essentially we're about to we're looking at a party cooperative game, where the progression of the game actually punishes you for playing cooperatively in a party. It's called a party game for a reason, but um, yeah, I guess on that note, see you all as we take a vacation down at the tropical board. I Yeehaw. hope it's fun. This party's stupid. I want my refund. <laughs>